Hi, my name is Paul. I live in Dayton, Ohio, and I considered myself a lifelong Republican until the last five to ten years. I was raised in a Reagan Republican household, a Marine Corps father. I believed in Ronald Reagan at a time of uh, the Cold War and fear of nuclear war with the Soviet Empire. He brought comfort to me with his speeches and uh, in the aftermath of the Challenger disaster. I voted for George H.W. Bush in 92, first election I could vote in. I voted for George W. Bush twice. I voted for John McCain. I believe he would have been a great president. I believe John McCain would be disgusted by Donald Trump. He has failed to lead in every measurable way during his three and a half years in office, and he needs to go. I didn't always support Barack Obama, but I le believed in his heart he was doing, in his mind, the best thing for the people of America. I don't think Donald Trump thinks about anybody other than himself and his re-election bid when he makes his decisions. He panders to his base. He has been a total failure during the pandemic. His inability to take that seriously and to develop comprehensive testing and tracing, to provide the supplies, to take leadership and not just leave it to the states was an embarrassment and a total disaster. And we have lost countless thousands of lives because of his failure to lead. lead. And I believe that and I will always believe it. We're at, we're at more than 110,000 American deaths because of COVID-19. And we're probably going to go to 200,000 because now President Trump is just ignoring the problem. And at a moment in time, a true moment for change, when we need leadership in the midst of this civil unrest after the murder and another case of systemic racism and the brutal murder, the, the death a lethal force by the police against George Floyd when the streets filled with peaceful protesters. He could not summon the courage that you expect from any president, regardless of party. He hid in his bunker. He couldn't give any words of kindness and compassion to the people throughout this country who needed it so much, especially the peace people of color. And instead, when he was painted as being a weak president, used his secret police of prison guards and the National Guard to bludgeon and gas peaceful protesters for a ridiculous photo op in front of St. John's Church near the White House. He is an embarrassment. I could never support him. I've never gotten involved in political grassroots politicking, but this year is different because Donald Trump needs to go. He really does. Wouldn't it be such a a sigh of relief, a breath of fresh air, if on November 4th we wake up to a new era. President Biden can help us heal the wounds that Donald Trump has poured salt in again and again during his time as president. And so I have to say that as a, I would qualify as a, a former Republican now, I don't know if I'll ever come back to the party because of the enablers in Congress who have looked the other way while Donald Trump has abdicated leadership in the White House. So I hope you join me as a, a disgruntled Republican, former Republican, however you want to qualify it, independent in voting Donald Trump out of office on November 3rd. Thank you.